just pulled up back at the crib. I had to go look at a customer's house. Um, looking at tents and windows on their crib. Try to keep it a little bit cooler up in there. Yeah, houses, boats, cars, buildings, you name it. I'm trying to back my truck in. Anyway, listen. Over the years, and it's been a long, like, you know, a long period of time. I've hung around people that were bad about discrediting other people for their accomplishments. Like looking for excuses as to why they have that stuff or have achieved that goal and why they haven't. You know what I'm saying? And that stuff is toxic, man. Like if you hang around haters, eventually you're going to become a hater, man. And that's, that's, that's not winning. Like that is not a winning strategy, I'm telling you. Like when you discredit someone else's accomplishments indirectly, you're telling the people around you that you feel inadequate to that person. Like, and you know, I, I get it because at one point I was that type of person is like, well, they got that because of their parents or this, this and that. Like it was all excuses as to why they had it and I didn't, but it, it, it was never well, I don't have what they got because I'm just not doing the work that they're doing. It was never that, you know what I'm saying? And I had to shift that perspective, man, because that is a losing mentality when you have a mentality like that. I'm telling you. I'm I, I, Now, yo, if you're bettering yourself, if you're going after more than what's typically gone after, if you're making more money, you know what I'm saying? Like, if you're, if you're taking trips, like, yeah, I, I am genuinely happy for people living a more positive life than they were before, making more money than they were before. Like if you got more than me, great. I'm extremely happy for people that have more than me because I'm confident in myself and my own abilities that if I want those things, I can achieve them. And once you get to a point where you're confident in your own abilities and the things that you can achieve, you will be genuinely happy for the people that you see doing a little bit better than you right now. Like it doesn't bother me. Like I hang around people that we're all genuinely happy for our accomplishments. Whether it's something that they have or they don't, whether it's something that I have or I don't. Like you gotta get around people who share that mentality and are confident in their own abilities, confident in what they can achieve. That way it's all more it's more positive energy to achieve together, man. Like it's I don't know. Negative energy is toxic. And positive energy is addictive. I love being around good, positive, genuine people who are genuinely happy for me and my accomplishments. Therefore, it translates into me being happy and genuinely um, uh, positive towards their achievements and goals and all that stuff, man. Like you gotta, you gotta pay attention to the people you got in your circle. And if all of them are negative and toxic, it sounds like you just gotta start from scratch, baby. Because if not. You gonna wake up a hater, dog. I ain't type try to beg you to stay. Shorty bounce, no questions, let her be on the way.